All photos and videos in this review were taken with the Zongyi Optics 90mm f1.5. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I have a brand new lens to talk about in Leica M mount. It's a 90 millimeter F1.5, 90 millimeter F1.5 for under $650. This is a full frame lens. You can use it right on a Leica M. You can use it via adapter on a Panasonic, on a Sony, on a Nikon, or as I did on the Leica SL2S. Now, the last time I reviewed a 90 millimeter F1.5 lens, it was the Leica 90 Sumalux. That is an F1.5 lens. It's beautiful, but it's also over $13,000. Now that lens had beautiful color, super contrast, a dreamy bouquet, really as good as it gets in a fast aperture 90 millimeter lens. But who has $13,000 or I should say, who really wants to spend $13,000 on a 90 millimeter F1.5 lens? I know I don't, and even if I had the money, I don't think I would or could. I mean, it's tempting when you're using it and seeing those beautiful shots, but 90 millimeter is not a common focal length for most people. Some people love it, but most people stick in the 35 and 50 range. So 90 millimeter is really a good portrait lens. That's usually what they are used for. This lens that I'm talking about today from Zongyi Optics is a 90 millimeter M mount F1.5 for 650 bucks. It can't be any good, right? It has to be garbage. Well, that's not true. I've been shooting with it for the last few weeks here and there. When I had time to do so, the video clip you saw in the beginning of this was shot entirely on the Leica SL2S with this Zongyi Optics 90 F1.5 wide open handheld. All those shots were wide open so you can see the sharpness and you can see the bokeh. Those shots I took were to demonstrate the bokeh quality, the color quality, as well as the sharpness you can expect wide open. All of the images I'm sharing here with you are shot wide open because I feel if you're buying a lens like this with an F1.5 aperture, it's really meant to use at that aperture. You can buy a 90 f2.8, you can buy a 90 f4, 
when you buy a 90 f1.5, you want to use it at that f1.5 aperture to get the dreamy, creamy bokeh effects, right? So how does this lens do? Well, you saw the video footage, you saw some images. I'm going to share some images with you here. In my opinion, this is a lens. If you want a 90 millimeter, a fast aperture 90, this is a lens you will want if you shoot like a M or you like to use M lenses on your mirrorless body. This is absolutely a beautiful lens for the money. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. It flares. It's in uh, need of a lens hood, which it does not come with. The review sample did not ship to me with a lens hood. Um, it's not a small light lens. It's big, it's heavy, but it's not as big as the Leica. So it is smaller and that's a good thing. The bokeh quality is really good. It's not perfect. Uh, it's not the silkiest, smoothest you will ever see, but it's not busy. It's not ugly. It's not um, headache inducing. It's actually quite nice. The sharpness wide open at f1.5 is really, really good. It's not going to show every wrinkle and flaw in the skin. And to me, that's a good thing in a portrait lens. This is what I would call a beauty lens, right? Uh, it will do great um, for portraits or for anything you want to add beauty to in your images. So this lens is brand new. It was just announced today, just launched today. I'll have a link in the description below where you can buy it direct from Zongyi Optics. They did send me this lens to check out. Um, soon as I took the first few shots, I was expecting the quality to be just subpar and I was probably not going to review it. That's what I said in my mind. This is gonna be one of those dull lenses with dull color and soft, uh, wide open performance. But soon as I took those first few images and I saw the color and the depth and the separation and the roundness to it, I knew immediately that this was a special lens, especially for the money. In fact, I could say this lens could sell for $1,100 easily um, because it's quality construction, all metal construction. Uh, it, it feels like it's built to last. I've shot it for the last few weeks. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. It comes in a nice box, a nice case, uh, lens cap on the front and rear. Again, I think it does need a lens hood because the lens will flare. Now I've had Leica lenses that flare without the lens hoods and this one is no exception. If you're shooting into a light source or a strong light source, you're probably gonna get some flare. Um, I like to use that flare in an artistic way to add to the image, right? Uh, you can do that. I've done that in the past with Leica glass as well. Again, this is not uh, going to be as good as the Leica, but you're not spending $13,000 for it. All in all, if you're looking for a fast 90 millimeter lens, F1.5 guys, this is like a little Sumalux 90 made in China. Um, it's not made in Germany, but again, $13,000 versus $650. I really enjoyed my time with this lens. I'm not really a 90 millimeter guy. I'm more of a 35, a 50, even a 28. Um, so if I was going to buy a 90, it would be one like this. I'm not gonna spend thousands of dollars on a 90 millimeter on a lens I rarely ever use. But even so, during my time with this lens, I started to like it. Each time I used it, I liked it more. When I started shooting video with it the other day on the SL2S, I was just like, wow, this is really nice looking through the viewfinder. It goes to show you can get quality glass these days for not a ton of money. And with the way everything is today in 2021, the end of 2021, it seems like no matter what I look at, prices are going up, up, up. Heck, Leica prices just recently went up again. So to find a lens like this for $650 is, is really a huge bang for the buck. If you're looking for a fast 90, I highly recommend the Zongyi Optics 90mm f1.5. Uh, I have found no faults with it besides the fact that it flares due to not having a lens hood. Other than that, uh, it has a clickless aperture dial. Uh, starts at f1.5, of course, but you're not going to have the clicks. It's more of a smooth, um, clickless aperture design, which I see a lot these days in a lot of lenses. Beautiful lens. Highly recommended, and uh, feel free to give uh, give it a look at the link below in the description below. You can check it out, read more about it at the manufacturer's website, and uh, I give this lens two thumbs up. 
I personally have never had a 90 millimeter at this price point perform to this level. It's a beautiful lens, guys. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time.